Hi everyone, today I'm going to speak about the if function. This function is one of the most used functions in Microsoft Excel. Since it is an important function, I'm going to explain it with five different examples which help you understand it completely. In the first example, we are going to learn the basic of the if function, its argument and how to type it inside the Excel. In the second example, I will take you through another example that will help you understand the environment of the if function better. The third example is about the nested if function. You will learn how to use the if function inside the if function. In the fourth example, I'm gonna speak about how to use the AND and OR functions inside the IF function. And in the last example, you will learn how to use the IF else function. When we have more IF in the structure, instead of the IF function, we use the IF else function. In this example, if the student's score is equal to or above 50, I want to type in pass and if it is less than 50, I want to type in fail. Did you notice? I used if the student's score in my sentence. It means I have to use the if function. I type equal if. You can see the argument. Let me explain this argument step by step. In the first part of the argument, you have to specify your condition. In the second part, you need to define what should Excel show you if the condition is true. And in the third part, you have to determine what should Excel return if the condition is false. So in the logical test, you have to specify your condition. What is the condition? If the score, I mean this cell, is greater than or equal to 50, comma. If the value is true, I want to see the past text. Remember, if you want to type a text in the formula, you have to put it between two quotations. I type quotation, pass, quotation, comma. In the value if false section, I want to return fail. So I type fail and press enter. Now, if I drag the cell down, you can see the results for all the cells. I want to highlight the cells that contain pass with the light green fill. To do that, you need to first select the range. And from the Home tab in the Style group, click on the Conditional Formatting and select the Highlight Cells rules in the list. And in the New list, select the text that contains. I want to format the cells that contain pass. So I type pass in this section and by clicking on this arrow, you can select the green field and press OK. This example looks like the previous one, but I want to add some mathematical to it. The question is, if the salary amount is more than $60,000, they will get 20% of their income as a bonus. But if it is less than $60,000, they will get 10% as a bonus. I type equal if, you tell me, what should I type here? If the salary is more than or equal to this cell, I mean $60,000, comma, what I want if the value is true, I want salary plus bonus. It is my salary, plus 20% of my salary, comma. If the income is not more than $60,000, they get 10% as the bonus. So salary plus 10% of it, enter. Now you can drag the formula to other cells, but there is a problem. Let me double click on this cell. We forgot to fix these cells. We have to fix them in the first formula and then drag it to other cells. I press Ctrl Z to undo this. In the formula, we have to fix these three cells. So highlight them and press F4 one by one to fix them. Now you can drag the formula to other cells. If I double click on this cell, 
you can see that these cells have been fixed correctly. In this example, we have the one year average temperature of Madrid for each month. I want if the temperature is greater than 25 Celsius, type in warm. If it is between 10 to 25 Celsius, type in normal. And if it is less than 10 Celsius, type in cold. I type equal if. What is my logical test? If the temperature is above 25 Celsius, comma. I want to show warm. You can type in the warm directly inside the formula or select it from this cell. I select this cell, but remember, since I want to drag the formula to the other cells, you have to press F4 to fix it. Comma. In the value if false section, I need to add another if function. So I type if. In the logical test, I specify if the temperature in this cell is less than 10 Celsius, comma, show me the cold text and press F4 to fix the cell, comma. So if it is not cold and it is not warm, it is normal. I select this cell, F4 to fix it, close the parentheses and press enter. Now you can drag the formula to other cells. In fact, we nested the if function, I mean we used if function inside the if function to get these results. Maybe it is a little confusing. Let me show you step by step what happened in the formula. In the first part of the argument, if the temperature is above 25 Celsius, it means the condition is true. So Excel will show the warm text and ends the function. But if it is less than 25 Celsius, it means the result is false. So Excel starts the other if function. In this section, if the temperature is less than 10 Celsius, it means the condition is true. And Excel will show you the cold text and ends the function. But if the temperature is above 10 Celsius, so Excel will show you the normal text and ends the function. In this example, the students have been given two exams. If the score in the first and second exams are greater than 50, uh, they are passed. Otherwise, they have failed. Did you notice? I used the first exam and second exam. It means I have to use the AND function in my IF function. But first, let me tell you what is the AND function. The argument of the AND function is like this. It compares all the logical and if all of them are true, returns true. But even if one of the logical is false, returns false. For example, in this cell I type equal AND. If the first exam score is greater than or equal to 50, comma, and the second exam score is greater than or equal to 50, press enter you will get a true result because both of them are greater than 50. But if one of them or both of them are less than 50, you will get a false result. All right, let's get back to the example. What was the question? If the score in the first and second exams are greater than or equal to 50, show pass. Otherwise, don't show anything. I type equal if and I type AND function to specify two conditions. If this cell, the condition, comma, if this cell, the condition, close the parentheses, comma, if the condition is true, show me pass, comma, for the value is not true, I don't want to show anything. So I type two quotations, it means if the value is false, Leave it as blank and don't show anything. Close the parentheses and press enter. Now you can see the results. But what if I tell you if the score in the first or second exams are greater than 50, they have passed. Otherwise, they have failed. Did you hear me? I said first exam or second exam. 
So I need to use the OR function in the IF function. But first let me check out the OR function. The argument of the OR function is exactly like the AND function, but it compares all the logical, and if even one of them is true, returns true. But if all the logical are false, returns false. For example, in this cell I type equal or if the first exam score is greater than or equal to 50, comma, and the second exam score is greater than or equal to 50, press enter. You will get a true result because both of them are greater than 50. If I drag the formula down, you will get true again because one of them is greater than 50. But if I drag the formula to this cell, you will get the false result because both of them are less than 50. Alright, it is time to use the OR function in the formula. I type equal if for the condition I use an OR function. If the first exam is greater than or equal to 50, comma, same condition for the second exam, close the parentheses, comma, for the value if true, I type pass, comma, and for the value if false, I type two quotation, close the parentheses, enter. Now you can drag the formula to other cells. In this example, we want to type in the grade of each student based on the score value. You can see the grade conditions in this section. If it is more than 90, type in A. If it is more than 75, type in B. If it is more than 50, do you hear me? I am using a lot of ifs. In these situations, when we have more than two ifs, we use the ifs function. I type equal if as. The argument is simple. First, you have to specify logical test. If the score is greater than or equal to 90, comma, what do you want to show? A. So I select this cell and press F4 to fix it, comma. Now you have to define your second logical test. If the score is greater than or equal to 75, comma, what I want to type in? B. Press F4 to fix it, comma. Again, you have to specify your third logical test. Now you can drag the formula to other cells. Let me show you how this function works. It first evaluates the first condition. If it is true, returns value 1 and ends the function. But if it is not true, evaluates the second condition. If it is true, returns value 2 and ends the function. But if the second condition is not true, it will evaluate the next condition. It will continue this process till finding the true condition. But if it couldn't find any true condition in the entire equation, it will return the NA error, which means no value is available, and ends the function. Alright, it was all for today's video. If this video was useful, subscribe. Otherwise, subscribe. <laughs> See you in next video.